Hello and welcome to Chuck's Ball Game. I'm your host Charles Bruin Gascon, and I'm joined by the famous, by now, Roy Rana, the ma men's basketball head coach at Ryerson University. Roy, thanks for being with me tonight. No problem. Um, so Roy, uh, I have the latest issue here of the eye opener, mm -hmm. and um, it says you, Ryerson men's basketball made history. Can you comment on that? Uh, yeah, I mean, we've had a great run in the second half of the season and uh, ended up becoming a historic one, uh, getting, to, getting to the national championships for the second time in school history and, and actually winning the first game of, of any team in any sport at a national championship for Ryerson. So a pretty big accomplishment for our guys to go there and get that win against Concordia on the second day. And unfortunately, on the third day, we lost in overtime. <coughs> Excuse me. Roy, uh, did you personally think you'd ever be this good this soon? Yeah, no, I, I thought really we were probably going to be looking at next year was when we would make that next step. So uh, this has happened a little bit earlier than I even thought. Right. But uh, we had a, you know, a couple of results late in the season, our win at Ottawa and then our win again here at Ottawa that kind of uh, tipped me off. And I thought, you know, this, this was a real possibility that we would be able to go into the OUA Final Four and upset Lakehead and get to Nashville. So the signs late kind of directed us in this, you know, in this way. But... Uh, Certainly, uh, if you'd asked me at the beginning of the season whether I thought we were a team that would get to Nationals, I would have said we were a long shot. Let me draw a parallel to the previous season. You had this season sort of the same start as you did the previous one, but obviously with different results. Can you tell me what changed this time around? Uh, you know, I thought we really focused in on our culture in the second half. I mean, we, we focused on, on, you know, how we were functioning off the court and I think we cleaned some things up technically that we were doing on the court and the guys bought in and certainly once you start to win your confidence grows and uh, I'm not sure there was really any difference between the first half and the second half we were still ravaged by injuries I mean we went to national championships and had you know Gauthier was a starter and arguably one of our better players this year not play and but I think we just believe that uh, you know if we played our brand of basketball we could we could win games and uh, that belief paid itself off. Um. So how great was it to end the Kerr Hall era on such a high? Oh, I mean, those are memories for, I think, a lot of people, right? I mean, we, we probably the most exciting thing about this run was, I think, the memories we created for so many people. And, you mm -hmm. know, the last game here at Kerr Hall, that win against Ottawa, the energy in the building was fantastic. And then, you know, I think that kind of springboarded itself into Waterloo in, in what I think was a transformational moment for, for our students I mean it was just an incredible crowd and an incredible environment those those are memories I think that are gonna last with some people for a long time they'll, they'll last with me for sure thank you Roy this was a very great interview no problem thank you and uh, I appreciate you taking the time at home to watch this was Chuck's ball game and see you next time mm -hmm.